Using device authority, you can easily and securely deploy certificates to devices in the field. In this demo, I'll register and deliver DigiCert certificates to two access cameras. The process begins with device registration. I'll go to the Keyscaler Management Control Panel and create device provision records for the cameras using our bulk provision feature. As you can see in the CSV file, I'm using platform and MAC address as registration controls. I'll also specify the camera is part of the Access Camera group. This group designation defines the certificate delivery policy for the device. I'll show how this policy is defined later in the demo. The provision records were successfully created, and you can see the records include the controls I specified. So only a device that attempts registration having the correct platform and MAC address, and does so within the valid time window, will be successfully registered. I'll now open a PuTTY session to both of my cameras and show there is no certificate present in my target directory. I'll reboot the camera. This reboot is simulating the action of an engineer installing the camera in the field and powering it up. When the camera boots, a startup script kicks off and launches the device authority agent. The agent registers the device with Keyscaler and consumes the registration records I just created. Then Keyscaler handles the certificate request according to the group policy and coordinates the delivery to the camera, placing the certificate in the target directory. I've logged back into the camera and I'm watching the log file using the tail command. You can see the camera has registered successfully and an asset was found and processed. Now looking at the target directory, you can see the certificate is on the camera. This certificate is signed by DigiCert and the file contains the full certificate chain to the DigiCert root CA certificate. Moving to the control panel and refreshing the page, you can tell the registration records have been consumed and the cameras show up as registered devices and have been issued a cert. Let's step back and examine the one-time setup needed for this process to work. I'll start by going to the Manage Devices group tab where I'll look at the Access Cameras group. This group has one policy called DigiCert Certificates for Access, which is a credential provisioning policy and currently has two members or devices, the cameras that I just registered. Let's see what's involved in a provisioning policy by taking a look at that group's policy, DigiCert Certificates for Access. I've defined the policy name, type, and description, and selected a connector profile and common name template, both of which I'll show you in a minute. The email address is associated with the certificate upon request, and the signature algorithm is required when requesting the cert. I've set the certificates to be valid for one year and told Keyscaler to automatically renew the certificates within 30 days of expiration. I also specify where to store the certificates on my devices and show this policy is used by the Access Camera Group. The common name template defines how we want to name the certs when they're requested. In this case, I'm using the MAC address of the device receiving the certificate. Now, let's look at the credential connector. This defines the credentials needed to access the service provider to request and manage certificates. To summarize, the one-time setup steps in Keyscaler are to define a group, define a credential policy for the group, define a credential connector to the service provider for the policy, and to define a common name template for naming the certificates. Then, when a device is registered to the group, the associated policy triggers the certificate delivery. Going back to the control panel, I'll quarantine one of the cameras. When a device is quarantined, device authentication is blocked and Keyscaler revokes the certificate, protecting your system against misuse. If I reauthorize the device, a new certificate is automatically requested and delivered to the device, thus replacing the revoked certificate. Wordify's authority, IoT security simplified.